A warm greeting. Today is Monday, September 25, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update regarding the forecast for Tropical Storm Philippe. Additionally, we will discuss Invest 91, for which the National Hurricane Center continues to increase the chances of it developing into a tropical cyclone as it moves northwestward. Invest 91 is a candidate to become Tropical Storm Rena. When we look at the infrared satellite image, we can see the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe, which has been battling strong shear winds from the west today. The center of circulation remains exposed to the west of the strongest thunderstorm activity. Tropical Storm Philippe is currently weakening, with maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Yesterday, I mentioned that some models were strengthening the tropical storm and maintaining a north-northeast trajectory, especially the GFS model. Meanwhile, European models suggested a weaker system with the potential to move further west and dissipate by the weekend. Today, we have seen that the National Hurricane Center has adjusted its track slightly to the west. Nevertheless, this cyclone does not pose a threat to the Caribbean as it will maintain a northwestward trajectory and may dissipate over the weekend without affecting the Caribbean. Let's look at the forecast from specialized models for the storm's track. Today, some models continue to suggest a northeastward trajectory, such as the GFS-related models, while the majority of other models now show a trajectory similar to the European models, with a westward movement in about 4-5 to five days but at a higher latitude compared to the Caribbean islands. As you can see in the National Hurricane Center's track, it currently remains to the right of most models. They may adjust the track further south and west in the next forecast. However, it's important to note that the center of circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe is already at a fairly high latitude, so it will not reach the Caribbean region. Furthermore, it is anticipated to dissipate later this week. The majority of intensity models maintain a constant intensity over the next four days. In the long term, some models suggest that it could strengthen again, while the majority show this system weakening and dissipating in about six days. In the 5 p.m. National Hurricane Center Bulletin, you can see that they continue to project a west-to-west -west northwest trajectory over the next three days, followed by a turn further west. In this forecast, the National Hurricane Center maintains Tropical Storm Philippe as a weak tropical storm with winds of 40 to 45 miles per hour as it moves over the Atlantic waters. This is because the sheer wind will continue to impact this system. In fact, over the next few days, it may become even stronger, so we cannot rule out dissipation before the weekend. Also, note the cone of uncertainty for the track, which remains far from the Caribbean region. There is no need to worry about the Greater Antilles or the Lesser Antilles. This is good news. Now, let's talk about Invest 91, which is very close to Tropical Storm Philippe. Although it is currently at a low latitude, it will continue to move west-northwestward over the next few days. In the long term, as Tropical Storm Philippe moves west-northwestward, there may be an interaction with the circulation of Invest 91, possibly leading to a Fujiwara effect. Later, I will show you the forecast from global models on how the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe and the future Tropical Storm Rena could interact over the weekend northeast of the Caribbean. Although Invest 91 remains disorganized at the moment, the National Hurricane Center has increased the chances of development to 90% over the next seven days. You can see that the potential development area is generally far from the Caribbean region. While we will continue to monitor the evolution of Invest 91, there is a good consensus that it should maintain a westward trajectory over the next 36 hours, followed by a turn to the west-northwest by the weekend when it reaches fairly high latitudes, remaining far from the Caribbean region. The track of Invest 91 may be greatly influenced by the proximity of Tropical Storm Philippe. However, this interaction is expected to occur in the long term, in about 6-7 to seven days when it is located northeast of the Caribbean. Due to the uncertainty surrounding how these two cyclones will interact, the intensity forecast models also differ in the medium and long term. While some show a strong tropical storm or hurricane, others depict this system as quite weak, remaining a weak tropical storm. The important thing is that it is anticipated to pass far from the Caribbean region. Nonetheless, we will continue to monitor its evolution, though we are confident it will not reach the Caribbean. Let's briefly look at the forecast from global models. Let's start with the GFS model. In its latest run, it has Tropical Storm Philippe moving northwestward in the Atlantic. Additionally, we see the circulation of Invest 91 at a fairly low latitude but rapidly moving northwestward starting next Wednesday. By the weekend, the GFS model has a trajectory well to the northwest, far from the Caribbean. Also, observe the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe over the weekend and how it interacts with the circulation of the future Tropical Storm Rena. In fact, during the weekend, the GFS model predicts that we could see a Fujiwara effect, 
where the proximity of both cyclones could cause a counterclockwise rotation. In the long term, the GFS model forecasts that both disturbances will move northeastward without posing any threats to the Caribbean. Now, let's look at the European model's forecast. The major difference is that the European model essentially dissipates tropical storm Philippe when it is located north of the Caribbean. It strengthens Invest 91 a bit, as you can see in this projection. By the weekend, although Invest 91 moves slightly westward, it then takes a northward turn, passing far from the Caribbean. Tropical storm Philippe dissipates north of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic without affecting the region. Although the forecasts from the European model and the GFS model are quite different, the important thing is that both indicate that tropical storm Philippe and the future tropical storm Rena will not be threats to the Caribbean. Similarly, other models align with this forecast. For example, the UCMIT model shows a weak low pressure system associated with tropical storm Philippe passing far from the Caribbean. We also have Invest 91, or the future tropical storm Rena, rapidly gaining latitude and remaining far from the Lesser Antilles. The German model has a very similar forecast, with the remnants of tropical storm Philippe north of Puerto Rico and the future tropical storm Rena maintaining a northwest-north trajectory, staying far from the Caribbean. The Canadian model also agrees with this forecast. Finally, let's look at the ensemble forecast from the GFS model. The majority of them dissipate tropical storm Philippe when it moves northeastward of the Caribbean. Don't be alarmed when you see these light blue trajectories, they represent the remnants of this cyclone, so there is no expected impact on the Caribbean region. On the other hand, the ensemble members of the GFS model show the future tropical storm Rena with a trajectory toward the northwest and north, remaining far from the Lesser Antilles. The ensemble members of the European model all dissipate tropical storm Philippe. These trajectories you see in this image represent the remnants that will have no impact on the Caribbean. Additionally, Invest 91 will become Tropical Storm Rena and in the long term, take a trajectory to the northeast-north. In general, during the afternoon today, there is a good consensus that Tropical Storm Philippe will travel slightly west-northwestward and possibly dissipate over the weekend, while Invest 91 will likely become Tropical Storm Rena. Although it may have a westward trajectory for a while, it should then turn northeast-north before reaching the Caribbean. I will continue to monitor this forecast in case of any unexpected changes, but for now, there is no threat to the Caribbean. Well, that's all for today, I will be back tomorrow with a new update. Goodbye for now.